Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my extraction experience because you know, if people dread getting one extraction, right? Like, but when you imagine like I'm getting all of my teeth pulled out, that's gonna hurt, right? So I'm going to share what my experience was, what my pain level was, having a full mouth of extractions in the same day. Um, we didn't do it in stages, it was all at once. And this video is sponsored by Ivaclar Vivadent. For those of you who are not familiar with them, they're a dental manufacturing company. Um, they've got locations all over the world. They're a pretty big deal. They make the products that, you know, like my teeth that I have in my mouth right now, products that dentists use. They're just an awesome company and they have chose to sponsor a lot of my content here. So I'm very thankful for them. I appreciate them a great deal. Their link is below. It's morethanadenture.com, www.morethanadenture.com. So check them out. Okay. So in all fairness, I was missing some teeth before I had my extractions. I had some molars that were missing, upper molars and lower molars that were pulled way, way long ago. So I didn't have all of my teeth, but I had enough in there to really, you know, say I had full mouth extractions and it was done in one day. Sometimes different dentists choose to do it in stages. So they'll do like some of the bottom teeth and then come back and do the others, allow that to heal and then pull the top. That's not what I did at all. We had all of my teeth pulled in one day. My case was complicated because the decay was so far down into the bone that they couldn't just be yanked. They couldn't just be pulled. They had to be cut out of my mouth. So it was all surgical extractions, every single tooth. So that added an extra element of, oh my God, this is terrifying. Before my appointment, I was prescribed anxiety medicine and I can't remember specifically what medicine it was, but um, my dentist was well aware of the fact I let everybody know I have anxiety because I don't know what I'm walking into and I don't wanna have a panic attack. So with him knowing that upfront, he was able to prescribe me something because I don't take regular medication for my anxiety. I have other ways of coping and avoiding triggers and stuff like that. But because this was like a special um, exception to that, he prescribed me something that's not like a maintenance drug. It's just like you pop it in and it kind of chills you out. So we did that beforehand to get my anxiety level to a normal baseline. Then he also prescribed me Oxycontin prior to the appointment and that was something that you know I was to take it immediately before the appointment or I think like maybe an hour or so before arriving at my appointment. So I took the Oxycontin but I ended up breaking out with hives so and I was itching like crazy so I called them and I was like hey this isn't gonna work I've got you know some kind of allergic reaction going on here. So then um, when we got there he had my sister run and pick up a prescription for morphine. So yeah I was loopy. I was very very loopy. Um, for those of you who have, who have never dealt with morphine, I've had it in the past. I'm very sensitive to that. And it's all depending on like how your body responds to medication. I'm sensitive to medication, so I try to avoid it at, by any means necessary. We got the morphine, I took the pill, I started getting kind of loopy or whatever, and you'll see me glancing over here because I've got my notes, like, you know, the sequence of events. The only thing that hurt from my appointment that day was the shots. I, I'm not one of those people that is like phobic when it comes to shots. I don't know if anybody likes them. It's not something that freaks me out in any other location. When it comes to a mouth that's already sensitive and you just think that this is not, there's no cushion there. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's nothing there. It's just, it's your gums and it's going straight into there. That sends me in a loop of panic. The alternative is what, you know, you feel it. So I'm like, I don't like the idea of having to get shots, but at least I know that once that's done, that's the only pain I should experience. So he began to give me shots and numb me in certain areas of my mouth. And then when he started to work, I was like, mm, nope, not completely numb. And it took several shots, like from what he told me, more than normal, okay? But the thing is, I'm not going to allow you to do anything until I'm sure that I am completely numb. And add another one in there just for good measure. So no, you should not feel anything but the shots. Those shots should be able to numb you up completely to where the only thing that you're really going to experience 
is like a sensation of pressure. It's not comfortable. It is uncomfortable. But as far as pain goes, these are ways that they can manage pain. They can prescribe medications. They can give you shots to numb you up completely. And if you feel anything, do not hesitate to let them know that, hey, this is kind of hurting and I don't want to proceed until I'm numb. And they can go back and make adjustments. And so that's what we did. So once I was completely numb, it was like, it doesn't matter if I'm getting one tooth pulled or all of my teeth pulled. When you're numb, you're numb. I know it can be hard to wrap your head around the fact that, you know, this seems so much more extreme than having one extraction, but it's really not once you get the pain managed. Because of the morphine, I'm sure, and the anxiety medicine that was chilling me out, and then just the, you know, intensity of the situation that I was in, to this day, the only thing that I can remember from that day, from that appointment, was I remember prior to going to the appointment, I showed my husband my teeth for the first time. I showed my sister my teeth for the first time, like really up close, like here's what we're going to get taken out of my mouth. I remember being in the chair and getting the shots and like giving feedback saying, hey, I'm not numb yet. The last thing I remember is biting down with the dentures in my mouth after everything was already, you know, taken care of. I was out of it the entire time and I, I don't, recall feeling anything at all. When I got home, I was just, I was tired. You know, it is, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. And then I'm sure that the medication had something to do with it. So when I came home, I slept. And that's where this picture came from. I, I'm pretty sure that that's a selfie. I laid down and like I could feel it dripping down my face. So my, my mouth was packed with gauze to suck up the blood. Because let me backtrack. On top of having my teeth surgically removed, like they, they cut them out, I had alveoplasty. And that's because my ridge, like my bone there, was jagged from all of the decay and having to like cut teeth out. So he went in and he smoothed that down. That's what alveoplasty is. He smoothed the ridge down and then he had to stitch me back up. And so I had stitches as well. But the good thing is that when you're getting immediate dentures, it applies pressure to that area um, to help with swelling, to help with, you know, the, the blood and everything like that. It's like, you know, if you get a cut, you're gonna apply pressure to it to stop the bleeding and stop the pain. So it, it's similar to that. So I'm sure that that also contributed to the very low level of pain. I wouldn't even call it pain. It was just, I was, I was achy. You know, I was very swollen. And so the next few days, um, the swelling was pretty bad. And I've mentioned here before that at one point I actually went to the emergency room because I was like, okay, this is, this is like a, this is an allergic reaction type of situation. I was terrified. I mean, I was, my face was huge. So I did go to the emergency room and they told me, no, this is completely normal. Some people just swell more. They gave me um, a shot of steroids to help combat that. And then over that first week, the swelling started to go down. And that's the only, like, aside from the shots that I got, the swelling was the most pain I experienced from the actual extractions. Like, nothing else hurt. It was just my face felt like it had been abused. It was just very swollen and achy feeling. Then in the second week after extractions, you know, when the swelling had pretty much gone down for the most part, the the dentures, you know, became loose. It, the swelling wasn't there to support them. And so they were moving around and that caused, you know, uh, some discomfort. But aside from those things, I personally didn't experience what you would consider actual pain from getting my teeth extracted because they can manage pain. So that's that's what the takeaway is for this video is that if you're scared of pain, the thing is you shouldn't feel full on pain. They've got medication that they can prescribe. They can give you shots to numb you. They can put you under if, if that's an option that your dentist offers for extractions. Like there's all different kinds of ways to manage pain and it requires you communicating with your dentist where your pain level is at because everybody's different. You know, just like I said, I had to get more shots than normal to be numb. There isn't a one size fits all approach to extracting teeth and managing pain. Everybody's body experiences pain differently. Something that might not bother me might be excruciating to you and vice versa. So just make sure that you are communicating that with your dentist, 
therapist, clear it up beforehand before you even go to the appointment. If it's a concern that you have and you're worried that you're gonna be in any kind of pain, make sure that you talk it over with them, discuss the pain management prior to the appointment. And then when you get to the appointment, if anything hurts, you gotta let them know. As for the aftercare um, at home, as I was dealing with the swelling, I went home on 800 milligram ibuprofen. I was not taking any kind of strong pain medication, but if at any point I felt like it was too much, I could have called the doctor and been like, hey, it's getting kind of crazy over here. Can you prescribe something stronger? And they could do that. So that's another option. Next week, I'm going to be discussing um, on next Monday, what actually did hurt me as a denture wearer. Like the most painful thing that I experienced during my whole you know, journey with dentures. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel um, so that you don't miss these video updates. I post every Monday and Thursday. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I made a big announcement recently. I've partnered up with a local dentist and we're going to be providing some really great content, interviews with dental professionals and things, you know, behind the scenes. So you don't want to miss that. So definitely subscribe. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. It helps boost me up in the algorithm them so that more people can discover my videos. Comment below, you know, if you have any questions about this, if you're concerned, if you've got any fears, or just share your experience when you had your extractions. Did you have pain? What kind of pain did you have? What kind of pain management plan were you on when you got your extractions? All of my social links are in the description box below, and I will see you guys again next time, and y'all take care.